Hi Steve here from Photo Mastery Club and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you how to do one of the all-time classic um, effects which is known as the Autumn effect but I'm also going to show you after the kind of showing you the basic steps how to add a little twist to it to make it even more useful and interesting. Now before I get into that if you want to download some cool actions uh, some Photoshop actions that are going to help you actually create the Autumn effect even quicker than what I'm going to show you how to do in this tutorial then just click the link below this video now or you can watch the video and I'll show you some of the actions and uh, then you can download them afterwards but for now let's crack on with the tutorial now this image is um, taken from the most recent other video that I've uploaded to YouTube and to the blog so if you're wondering how I got the image from this state here with a really badly overexposed sky to filling in that detail and basically creating the pixels that we need to fill that in without making it look dodgy then uh, you can watch that previous video but for this example I'm just going to show you the Autumn effect so I'll show you the basic uh, way to achieve the effect now the first thing you need to do is select all which you can do up here or you can use the keyboard shortcut so let's just use the menu for now select all edit copy merged and then edit paste and what that gives you is a new layer on top here which is like a copied merged version of all of these layers so essentially it's what we can see here but stamped into one pixel based layer now that we've got this the next step of the process is to apply a Gaussian blur filter so you can do that from the filter blur Gaussian blur menu and I found a value of around about 15 pixels works for me so that's what I always use so I'll click OK to that and then the final step to turn this into the Autumn effect is to change the blend mode of this layer to either overlay or soft light now depending on the image that you're using one of these will give a better result than the other for me on this shot here the overlay is, uh, is quite an extreme version of this so let's have a look soft light seems to do a lot better there so what this gives you is a nice sort of glow a nice contrasty soft glow to your to your image and it's great for sunrise and sunset pictures uh, another thing you can do is you know if if it's still too extreme um, at this point using the soft light blend mode you can just reduce the opacity of the layer to help kind of blend that in or you can add a layer mask let's put that back up to 100 or you can add a layer mask here and then use a brush use a black brush just to brush it out uh, to sort of lessen the effect in some of the areas where it looks a bit too strong so you can see those brush strokes are being applied in the layer mask there now you know that really is the uh, kind of the standard version of this um, of this autumn effect now one other modification that I want to show you which you can uh, you know you might find useful is to add a clipping mask to this to affect it uh, in different ways so what I mean by that is we can add for example a curves adjustment layer to our image and then turn this into a clipping mask for the autumn effect layer and to do that if we hold alt or option on your keyboard depending if you're a PC or Mac user and then you hover your mouse between the two layers you'll see the icon uh, the mouse changes to this square with an arrow pointing downwards and when it's like that you can click with your mouse and you'll see here the curves adjustment it kind of moves along a little bit in the layers panel and it shows you this little tiny arrow here which is telling us that whatever we do to this curve is only going to affect the layer immediately beneath it it's not going to affect the entire image so what this means is we can now use this curves adjustment to either brighten the autumn effect so we can do it like this we can push the curve up or we can pull it down to darken the effect or if we want we can say for example if we push it from the bottom if we push this curve upwards from the bottom 
and then pull it down again from the middle adding that extra control point then essentially what this means is we're lifting the shadows of the autumn layer or we can do a basic S curve like to add some contrast here to add even more contrast to this layer and by toggling the curves adjustment off and on you can see the effect that's having so let's just reset this uh, curve but yeah this is uh, this is something that you might like to play around with and it kind of extends the usability of this autumn effect layer because I've found in the past that you know it can be quite um, overwhelming of an effect so you know if you if you want to use it if you like the look and feel that it gives your images but it's just not working out then you can modify it and just experiment by adding a curves adjustment layer as a clipping mask and just changing the uh, yeah, changing the contrast, changing the brightness of this layer here. So that is, uh, yeah, that's that's how you would do this all the manual way. Now I did mention at the top of this video that I've got some actions, so let me show you what they look like. So I'll just remove these layers here, and I will open up my action set. So. I've got two Orton layers here and I've called them Orton Brush Lighter and Orton Brush Darker. So I'll show you the lighter one first. So I'll just select that and I'll press the play button and I'll get rid of the thing there. Let's close that. And now that I've added that, you see it's got this folder here which has essentially got the Orton layer and it's got a curves adjustment that is brightening the autumn effect layer that's here but then that's all within a group and currently because the layer mask on this group is black it means we can't see any of this effect now you've got two options of how to now apply this to your image one is just to invert the layer mask so command or control i to invert the mask and you know you'll basically that what that gives you is a brighter version of the regular Orton effect or command or control I if you want to use a white brush now into this layer mask then essentially this is kind of behaving like an Orton effect brush so I can brush around the image to paint this effect in just into where I want it to appear so it's not going to affect the entire image it's just you know where I'm brushing with the brush into the layer mask now if you want you can go in and you know you can adjust this again that's all completely adjustable even though it's part of the saved action um, let me delete this one now and I'll show you the darker version so similar thing but this time if I press play on the darker one if I invert this now you'll see that's a much more extreme sort of darker version of the Orton effect and you know, in this case it will make more sense to brush this in sort of softly and gradually just so that it doesn't completely overwhelm the image so something like that might look pretty good and there we go so like I said if you want to download these actions then I'll put a button just below the video where you know if you click that then you can go and download these actions and I've got a video as well that shows you how to use them there's a whole bunch of others in here that you might find uh, useful but otherwise for now I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I'll see you next time